Hello, all you good people. In this video here, I'll have to be extremely careful because of the thought police and the fucktube censorship Nazis. So I'll even have to find new words as pronouncing the old words. It will bring someone a lot of problems as the enemy within has forbidden the use of certain words, which only the newspapers and the TV are allowed to use merely in conjunction with the agenda, of course, which they, which they are massively trying to shove down our throats, if not, or else. And all of this is as usual related to Switzerland, of which I will give you all the facts and names of persons and organizations conspiring against humanity. They openly call for murder, and they openly incite for genocide, only to turn it all around afterwards as the aggressors slipping into the victim's role as another attack strategy by having us all believe they're so terribly discriminated, shedding their crocodile tears out, changing laws very much in the disadvantage of our children because they're everywhere now, on all government positions as police, judiciary, newspapers, state TV, school, SS, social services, because their masters of the Swiss Knights Templars share the same sexual orientation by all these guys in the Cistercian Templar monasteries, just all alone with each other and a lot of monks rope to lift for a quickie on God's altar. Therefore, so many priests doing it with children, turning them over to the other side, which apparently works like drugs. If you tried it once, you're hooked forever, like in the Freemason hook for the square. Hooked, squared, rounded up, all Freemason words by the Templars and referring to the square and compass, their holy tools to draw a pyramid. And as I'm entirely pink listed in my efforts to protect our children and to warn humanity from their next Nazi genocide on the man and their fathers, sons and brothers, through World War Three being in the Templar mold, I call them the pink list killers for the obvious legal and Nazi fucktube reasons, as I'm pink listed by this Templar offspring for the goddess in the Alps, all massively uh, ringing the uh, fucktube bell, shouting, hate speech, hate speech, whereas in fact, it's they themselves inciting for genocide on the man. So honestly, adding it all up into the word pink list killers because I'm apparently on the very organized pink list and they want to kill me which is their agenda because I'm a man. Therefore the pink list killers are massively joining ultra right-wing organizations to genocide the man again which they call killing the patriarchy where in fact there is no patriarchy and there never has been either. Most men just love their wives, mothers, sisters and daughters. Even the so-called patriarchal Arabs, Muslims and the, the jaywalkers. Most men are stupid enough willing to die for their women in protection of them. As they got themselves trapped into Pharaoh's war propaganda by Leni Riefenstahl, the queen and the goddess. There never has been any patriarchy, but there definitely is a matriarchy who openly say, let's go and kill the man and reshape their sons through the goddess her model of the Horus Matrix. So the murderous pink list killers and their hate speech inciting murder and bloodshed massively join right wing parties and neo Nazis paramilitaries like the second in command of the French right wing Front National, Florian Philippot, openly doing the bloke's back mounting, saying to his fellow conspirators, 
And let's kill all the Muslims because Islam forbids pink listing. So when Frenchy voted in 2017, Frenchy had the choice between two pink list killers, Philippot of the Front National and Macron, who already started killing the French and giving them all the all-seeing eye with Swiss weapons by Brugger and Tomet and their LBD 40s for the yellow vests. Templar guns from the motherland of the Knights Templars, huge pink list killers themselves. Then in 2002, there was another extreme right wing pink list killer who wanted to get rid of the Muslims because of Islam not complying with his sexual orientation. His name was Pim Fortun. I hope I pronounced it right, who had his own resistically motivated ultra-right-wing party in the Netherlands, on which another cloggy recognised the Nazi danger and resemblance to the Nazis, so he bought himself a peace and terminated the rise of the new Hitler, an imminent, imminent danger to his country, as he stated it. Now, the worst of it all is yet to come and it is deeply related to Switzerland and motherland of the goddess Confederatio Hell Vatican and it's happening right now. Last year in 2019 the German extreme right-wing party AFD or Alternative for Germany had a tremendous voting success and their leader as in Führer is a female pink lister killer by the name of Alice Weidel living together with another female and two children they probably bought in the internet. Sort of Alice in Wonderland story according to newspapers. They were living in the very liberal left-wing town of Biel in Switzerland and recently they moved to the super right-wing canton of Schwyz, also in Switzerland. Because that's what the pink list killers do. First, and for decades, they have themselves protected uh, by the left-wing uh, liberals in order to get accepted um, by us all. In fact, betraying all the true valors of the left-wing liberal, liberals. And when that's done and goal achieved, they move over to the extreme right wing to attack us all, and especially towards the Muslim man at the moment in general, and also against all the men, as in their violence incitements like kill the patriarchy. Alice Weidel gets financed by the Swiss and their octagon Templar Nazis just as during the Hitler era, therefore living in Switzerland, literally being the motherland of the goddess and getting full protection by Swissy, because in Germany it would be a lot more difficult to be protected from the Antifa. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Can you imagine that when factually already the new Nazi Führer are Nazi pink list killers, then how many pink list killers there are amongst their followers? And I met many pink list killers in Germany and France when many years ago I infiltrated neo-Nazi groups all over Europe, which finally led me into the octagon of the Nazi Templars of Switzerland, the base of it all. I heard in those days the Nazi pink list killers even say, we are not very brave, but we are many. And this is the true essence of the Templars' evil, against which the King of France tried to save us. And the brave uh, French King perfectly well understood the occult roots of it all, and where you end up when leading it all back, which I show you furthermore in these older videos here on my channel Gatsefrat. And here, the neutral base of the master race, also in Gatsefrat, showing the occult roots by the images. This is why the origins of the very word of it all comes from the two words Eve and Ill.
evil, evil. So it started all with Eve and the snake on Pharaoh's forehead. And this is where we at today. Eve saying, kill the patriarchy. Eve, ill, evil. Thus coming back to the goddesses like Hel Vatica or Hel Vatican or River Thames from Thames called La Timise in French, a reference to the goddess Thames or Themises, which is a word combination of Thames and Isis. Them, Isis, Themises. Therefore, the Thames becoming River Isis. Exactly there where the elite University of Oxford is, where today's pharaohs do the annual, annual Oxford Cambridge boat race, feeling themselves back home at River Nile. With this year's 2020 teams like Blondie versus Osiris and Goldie versus Isis, might as well call it boat race on River Nile under the eye of the Shardana. Yeah, look here it says Oxford 2020 Cambridge the races here but they even have a a website go check it out eh? go go visit Osiris and Isis eh? and you still think you know we are not their slaves uh, I'd like you to look first at the Freemason checkerboard configuration black and white here of the squares like in the square and compass and the Freemasons, they come out of the Knights Templars. And we all know what they mean with slay, eh? We all know that there's not a, uh, a uh, Father Christmas fairy tale here, eh? This is real, and it's very bad. So we got ourselves a situation now here uh, where the real organized Nazis and their occult evil and their Templar origins can talk freely and openly say, Let's kill the real man and make soy boys out of them. Whereas young, misled, manipulated little skinheads go to prison for repeating the same things, the occult Nazi leaders teach them in order to, show, to sow anger into their hearts. It's a classic Tavistock setup, folks, to gear up for war. Anyway, I'd say freedom of speech for the misled little neo-Nazis so we know what they're up to and what's cooking, instead of compulsory hiding in the dark, so the secret organizations can get hold of them, because then they're both in the secret. You get me? So listen up, J people or J tribe. You don't do yourself nor us a favor with this by persecuting them stupid little misled neo-Nazis by raping their freedom to express themselves as if we were living under the Inquisition in the Middle Ages. Now, let me wake you up. This is the 21st century that offers a whole range of intellectual solutions like what I do talking to them as a father, because they definitely need help with their problems before they'll become our problems again. With your dumb hate speech Nazi censorship, you think that you're treating the disease, whereas you just lower the fever and its temperature momentarily, while the disease is growing bigger, because you don't see it anymore, because the fever is gone, while beneath the surface, the disease is augmenting even more rapidly, as in stirred up through Nazi center, censorship provocation. Let me explain that to you in other words. Hate speech censorship is just symptom treatment, as lowering the fever, collecting some visual results, that it is dangerously counterproductive, leaving a bad diagnosis for not knowing what's growing underneath. And if we refuse to understand this, then these kids will turn their problems into our problems and history will repeat itself. I, Sean Ross, have changed thousands of little neo-Nazis by neutralizing them 
as in the army, neutralizing a bomb. And it is a bomb. Go watch this film here. It's important to understand the mechanics. Let me tell you, J-Tribe, Pharaoh doesn't want us to help these lost souls because then the elite won't be able to use them anymore for their evil projects, you see? And don't you J-Boys think that you'll be off Pharaoh's objectives because you're still on the radar and in Pharaoh's crosshairs. Gee, I don't know how to call you J-Boys anymore either. Because as soon as you use the J-word, the censorship's machine of Foktu will delete the video. Even if you make a video in favor of the J-Tribe, as I do. I'm really terribly sorry to use these words, because I have no problems with you J-Boys. But the current dictatorship leaves me no choice. And I desperately beg for understanding from your side. I think I'll call you jaywalkers from now on, as in jaywalking and not respecting the traffic laws, in this case for not respecting the communication traffic with free speech traffic laws in the rabbit hole. I learned the word jaywalking here with Bao, uh, getting harassed for nothing by the internal Blue Templar army. But I will write it J-W-A-L-K-E-R as a reference to the J people with whom I have no problems, on the contrary, but who wrongfully believe that the solution is a final one from the Dark Ages concerning the censorship. And honestly, I wish it was different and I could address you by your real name, which you also deserve. But we all have to protect ourselves these days from this witch hunt censorship inquisition. So I beg you jaywalkers for understanding. You don't leave as much choices, do you now? So here we are in the 21st century and a lot of good people here at my channels who want peace and justice only finding themselves cut short through a medieval censorship witch hunt. What a fucking progress, written, written with PH, of course, for the censorship. Fuck, that is, and not with an F. I'm going to give you some more intel how nasty it's all getting, where Nazi Templar pink list killers like Renaud Camus, and even jaywalkers like the French Alain Finkelkraut, you can read the name here, he's a jaywalker. Uh, and the other French jaywalker, Eric Zemmour, are teaming up in a not very kosher alliance with neo-Nazis like Brenton Tarrant, an extremely vicious circle protected through the hate speech concealment tactics of the fucktube Nazis, as it has come out now that the mosque events of New Zealand of 2019 were pre precedented by the shooter's visit to France in 2017, where he met up with the conspirators behind the scene who also financed him in the castle of the very dangerous pink list killer, Renaud Camus, who wrote the book GR by the title's initials, which apparently I am not allowed to pronounce. Only the newspapers are allowed to pronounce it. Here you can see the initials of that word. In a remote Templar area, where just a few clicks away from Chateau de Plieu, I visited in 2019 the Templar's Tower of Gimbrede. Here you can see this, Gimbrede. Or, and here it says Tour de Templier, the Tower of the Templars. And this is the name of the film where you can see that, which is right next to that castle of the, um, the Pink List Killer, related to the Christchurch. <laughs> Uh, or I can't even say that, the events in New Zealand. So here you can see the castle of the bloke, 
that's where the uh, uh, Brenton Terrans uh, was without any doubt it's a Templars area and here I was in the the Tower of Gimbreda it's about seven clicks away so here you can see another screenshot Chateau de Plieu the other one is like you know just right next to it here is Agen, Agen, Agen Montauban and here I visited some more Templars castles, commanderies, and uh, it's a Templars area, Nazi Templars, right? So in that same area, real next to that castle where the um, the the guy from New Zealand uh, went to, really, like, really near. Um, I filmed this very impressive Templars castle. Here are some commanderies, and this is that castle, real like seven clicks away. And this film here. Here are the titles underneath. Okay, so if you want to see that. So here you can see that again, Gimbrede. Uh, I did a lot of filming there, a lot of castles, real Templars castle, and amazing footage with Templars, crosses, and all that. Uh, next to where the um, uh, the, uh, the the rule in the same area where the guy from New Zealand where he met up with the uh, the Nazi pink list killer and or killers this is Nazi Templars folks watch my film the Swiss Bees home of the devil this is Octogon Octogon is behind it um, there's no and I made a film about it which um, Foctube immediately uh, deleted Again, I'm terribly sorry for not being able to call things by its name, as I already had several videos deleted and striked only for mentioning the events of New Zealand of 2019 by the upholders of the agenda. So I guess it's okay when I show the newspaper articles to reveal certain words I am not allowed to pronounce. So Foctube can pass the responsibility on to the various newspapers instead of harassing the little man and tiny YouTuber with a voice. So here again, we can see how dumb and young neo-Nazis get manipulated by extremely sly and highly intelligent people in order to have the dumb white neo-Nazis do what the puppet masters desire and don't want to do themselves. Therefore, in my eyes, the perpetrator, being also a victim of this occult machinery, just as small little brainwashed German children of the Hitler Youth were. So in my eyes, the only solution to the rapidly growing threat is to accept little dumb misled neo-Nazis as victims and help them, before the other ones in their castles come and help them. And we shouldn't help them because we like them, but rather because we love ourselves and our children. And this is exactly what I warned you for about the Nazism of the rich and the Nazism of the poor in my video, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. And remember that it is a fact that the vast majority, a staggering 69%, of the world's serial killers were pink listers, who have all obstacles removed through political correctness, defended by hate speech against any possible opposition, and by threatening Google and Foctube with massive lawsuits, while they themselves massively spread their incitements for violence in total impunity, where the war makers use hate speech as a tool to silence the peacemakers.